Cause I was born a shotgun in my hand. <laughs> well, this is for the October 23rd uh, fight between Brock Lesnar and Cain Velasquez for the the heavyweight title of an MMA for that company. All right, at uh, 121. Uh, okay, you with me? Yeah, all right. Okay, this is the prediction vid. I'm going to break down both the fighters, and then I'm going to give my prediction. It's going to be awesome. You ready? Okay. First, I'm going to start out with Cain Velasquez, who's 8-0-0, with seven knockouts, uh, one submission there. Now, he's 28 years old. He's a former, you know, former wrestler, a former junior I don't know if you'd want to call him a junior college champion. Um, the division, you know, not division one champion, but below that champion. And he finished uh, fifth and fourth, respectively, when he stepped up to D1. So he didn't win it, but he's one, he was one of the top wrestlers, and he was a two-time All-American in wrestling, so you got to give him his props there. He's a purple belt in jiu-jitsu. He's uh, six foot one. 238 pounds. Want to get that out there too. Um, yeah, he's well within the weight of 265. He, he doesn't have to worry about cutting too much. He just comes in. Um, you know, he, he's a top wrestler but not elite. And the reason why I say that is is if the JUCO, junior college, was the same as D1, it would just be D1. It wouldn't be the level below. Now, I'm not taking anything away from him. He was a national champion at that level. Could I wrestle at that level? Probably, probably no. I couldn't. I, I wouldn't cut weight for wrestling, man. Screw that, dude. Uh, anyway, you know, when you look at it, so it's smaller. He's, it, it, he's not as good at wrestling as Brock Lesnar is. Now, I know everybody's going to be like, oh, what are you saying, man? Lesnar was the champ. He was number one, not number four. He was number one. The year before that, he was number two. The year before that, he was the champ, the JUCO champion when he was at uh, Bismarck State College. Okay? So, they were both at the lower level. Lesnar just did it at the higher level as well. He, he can continue that. Okay? Now, he is not as fast or as strong as Lesnar is. Now, I know what you're saying, but his hands are quicker. Great. He's got quick hands. And he does have a uh, good striking ability. He does. And he has never lost a round in his eight fights. He has never lost a round. Who does that sound like? Kind of sounds like Shane Carwin, doesn't it? How'd that fight turn out? Just asking. I'm just asking. Uh, he's strong in jiu-jitsu. As I said, he's got that purple belt. So he's got a uh, bit of a jiu-jitsu background as well. Who's that remind you? Frank, Frank Mir? Okay, so maybe, you know, how did that turn out? You know, Frank Mir did beat Lesnar, and then Lesnar beat the hell out of him. And Lesnar's been, you know, and Mir's been losing fights. Uh, so, he, he, I mean, he's got a shot with what he has. There's no denying that. Uh, he, he's got a shot. But he is going to be the much smaller man in this fight. And when you see him across the ring and then you see Lesnar, you'll definitely see the difference. Um, he's got nice wins over An Antonio Noguera. 34-year-old Antonio Noguera, who's had a ton of MMA fights and stuff like that. He's uh, the Ben Rothwell. Yeah, that guy. You know, the guy that lost to Tim Sylvia. Stuff like that. Uh, the guy, same guy that got knocked out by Erzlovsky. You know, he beat him. And uh, Chick Congo, who, while is kind of an uh, elite MMA heavyweight, he's not he really. And, uh, but he's He's beaten all these guys, and they're good fighters to have on your resume. There's no doubt about that. Good record. But none of them are a monster. You see what I'm saying? He's never fought anybody that's this big. He's fought guys that are uh, 240, but that's still 60 pounds lighter than what Lesnar's going to be in the ring. You, you feeling me? Okay. Over to Brock Lesnar. The the next big thing, however you want to put him, 5-1 and one in his amateur, or 6 He's five and yeah, he's five and one. He's got six fights in the amateurs. Uh, his record speaks for itself. His one loss was to Mir. He avenged that big time. He uh, choked out Shane Carwin. 
he lasted through that, so we know he's got a jaw from hell. He's, you know, he's 6'3", he's 265, only because the weight limit is 265. The man comes in the ring, he's 285, 290 minimum when he comes in that ring. So, he's massive. He's an absolute beast. And the speed that he has is amazing for his size. And we know he has great stamina. And we know that he is, he's the best heavyweight wrestler out there. There is no heavyweight out there in MMA that is as good a wrestler as he is. Not Randy the Natural, none of them. None of them have done what Lesnar's done. So when you when you want to try to compare guys, uh, I'm sorry, you know, he, he's 33, he's in his prime, and he's absolutely massive, and he's a freak, and he can do stuff at that size that a man that big shouldn't be able to do. Am I right, Aguardo? See, he, Aguardo agrees. He's he's monster. He can flat out out wrestle all of them. He has massive hands with them three X gloves. He's uh, got his nutrition in check. He had that problem there. Obviously, it worked pretty well for him in the Carwin fight. And, you know, he's an absolute amazing athlete. I mean, this isn't a guy that was just a wrestler. I mean, he could be playing in the NFL right now. And that's an athlete. That's somebody that can just do it. You know, and that's a different skill set. You know what I'm saying? From Going from wrestling to fighting is one thing. That's kind of a almost like a natural progression. First you learn on the ground, then you stand up kind of deal, right? But this dude can do other completely different animals. And ultimately, going into the prediction part now, I think Lesnar takes out Cain Velasquez in the second round. He's going to ride him. He's going to ride him like a bugging bronco for the first round. You're going to see those hammer shots coming in on the side of Cain's head because he's going to bull rush him and take him down. And he's going to pound him. He's going to pound him a lot. And in the second round, he's going to be beating him on the head, and then they're going to stop the fight. And that's, that's pretty much what it's going to be. Velasquez is going to get in there and go, and realize what he's in for. And you're going to see it. And go ahead and slam me and say all the stuff. I said the same thing in the Carwin fight. You know, and he, he lasted, man. He did it. He did his business. So... That's my uh, prediction there. Lesnar, uh, round two stoppage by by strikes. I think he'll strike him out. And uh, and, and that's it, right? Is that it, Aguardo? Yeah. Okay, so please comment, rate, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me how you think this fight's going to turn out. I know I only gave you one day. That's how I roll. <laughs> and uh, hopefully it's a great one. And you'll come back to me and let me know what you think about this after the fight, okay? Wait, I'm the Big Ragu. I'm out. Bad company.